So we got Richard Maltby Smith on the left, we got Gavin Moody in the middle, and we got Stephen Hill on the right. Tell me, boys, have you got a plan for these four uh, cadaver legs? Well, after what Gavin's shown me in the book, there's a tendon I want to go and look for. Well, let's, <laughs> let's, let's be, right. <laughs> let's keep ourselves on target here. It's canker that we're looking at. So these are the two uh, front legs, but this is, uh, if we could say, almost lesser canker, if we can look at this one. So we can see there's quite a cavity in the frog there. Um, it doesn't look much different to thrush there, does it? Now let's just pull over one of the other legs, the hind legs. These are the more seriously affected, uh, and we can see there. So we are going to explore these in depth uh, and see how far it, it goes uh, and what we can learn about the um, tissue that's affected. What about taking the hoof capsule up as well on, on these ones here? Would that? Would it I think we take. Them? I think if you're going to take the hoof capsule. If you're going to chop through anything in the back, maybe this one. Take the hoof capsules off one of these. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just like to keep digging and yeah. going until. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Well, sort of I, well, the bandsaw at the same angle. Like just chop the whole back of it. I think we need to go through where it looks the worst. Yeah, yeah like through. Yeah, the there. Better feel, yeah. At that angle, just literally doing that. That and then that would possibly give us a point of origin. Yeah. And then what the other? Do a different. So we've got initial clean up and just going to go as deep into this frog as possible uh, to explore what we see in here. So we've gone as deep as we can, removing any of the necrotic tissue. Um, it's obviously a sheared heel in here. You can see, I can get my finger in there. We've got this finger-like projection that comes out the back and we want to see where that comes from. So I'm gonna dig down the middle here with a knife and just try and open up the base of this so we can see where that comes from. So that seems to be present on all, yep. all of them. Okay. So you can see we've done a sagittal slice through one of the canker feet and you can see this cavity going all the way up uh, into the planter cushion. Tissue doesn't look normal here and at the bottom you can see the canker here and we're going to explore it a little bit further. So if we look at the tissue here on the uh, planter cushion this really does not look healthy. So this, just to remind you, only had mild canker. But it's not very healthy looking at all. So I've quartered this uh, cankerous hoof. And this side, it looks pretty healthy. So a healthy wall, distal phalanx is healthy. Uh, healthy attachment. If we come over to this side, uh, you can see that there's a really poor attachment here. Um, well, it's not attached at all, really. Where the canker's gone up inside the hoof wall, up the lamella attachment, and loosened it. You've just about reached the boundary, have you, Steve? We can see a little bit of pink in there. Yeah. Bit, so, so you've got past the white line hoof wall bond in most places. So we're doing this so that once that bond is broken, hopefully we'll be able to peel the hoof wall off. Uh, this hoof hasn't been boiled, so it's going to be quite tough. So you can see how far it's been trimmed down so far, just to get past that bond.
sorry about the grunting and groaning, guys. Don't actually look too bad as its shape along there. Come on, let's get down there then. Right, cheers. See, just how tough the laminal bond is. It's just splitting a bit there, if you grab it a bit further. Yeah. There it goes, look at that. I mean, if it's plenty of good yeah, that's all well done. Yeah. All in one piece. Yeah. 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 Okay, so just pop this capsule off. I know you, I know you've already pulled it most of the way around, but let's see. And isn't that amazing that all this side from this quarter back is dead tissue. There's no laminal attachment, as you can see around here. So around here, it looks relatively healthy, but around this side, Look at that. You can see how this side where it's all necrotic is completely soft and you can really manipulate it and move it. Whereas this side, nice and hard and firm. Attached. And still well attached, yeah. So what are you gonna do now, Stephen? I'm gonna start chopping away <clears throat> all the horrible tissue to see how far it goes and how much we think we would have to dig out if this horse was still stood up yeah so all the diseased rubbery tissue which is the whole of the back of the foot but also down this was that the lateral side or the medial side? lateral side down the lateral side yeah that's scooping out yeah it's just sort of soft mushy tissue and of course every now and again I get a whiff of that smell that everybody says is a peculiar to canker you never forget it I could smell it as soon as I open the breathing <laughs> yeah. no that's Get your own eye, Morrison. Oh, this is just coming out with your finger. Yeah, but is that is that dirt that's no, just going? That is tissue. That was tissue. No, that's tissue. Yeah. Almost looks like it's sort of melting. You yeah, can bet is. when I put this out, somebody will say, if you feed the horse properly, that wouldn't happen. It's not like... I mean, that's like really... It's just like it's all just slime. Yeah. Isn't it? That's what it's like, slime. Yeah. And then you get the odd bit that's really tough. Like that, it's like a finger. It's like a finger, yeah, and that could be what we get out the back of the hoof. Oh, but it's just producing another type of horn, but I mean, this is, that's so deep there. Isn't that them bits that are coming out the between the bulbs? The bulbs like that. Yeah, like that bit. Is it? So you're going to take this rubbery bit off on the lateral side? Yeah, I don't, I think you, actually you can see that would be fairly good tissue there. 
Yeah, but there's, there's still a long way down to the good tissue, isn't there? It's still over down. Maybe it's moving right down here.